What's up guys, your boy JC here back again in the garage for another video. Last year, I did a video on five things that I hate about my Mark II Golf. One of the points that I made on that video is how the car didn't have AC and how inconvenient it was, especially when the weather is like super hot outside. Here, let me show you guys what I got. And basically what it is, is it's a sunroof deflector. It's a rare discontinued piece made by a company called Aerolift. And the cool thing about it is it's got this little flap here in the middle, which you can tilt down like that. And basically science tells us that the drag will push the air up into here. And by tilting this down, we'll redirect the air into the cabin. Is it gonna work? Dude, I don't freaking know, but we're gonna find out tomorrow when we take this thing out for a ride. So hold on to your seats and we'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, now it's morning of the next day. Here is uh, the deflector installed from the inside. You see there, I'll give you guys a shot from outside of the car. Right there and the flap is functioning. So, so I'm just gonna mount the camera on the uh, windshield and talk to you guys to whether or not it works. All right guys, here we go. We're gonna tilt this down and see if this flap actually works. Oh yeah. So right away I noticed a difference. Just tilting this flap down, you definitely um, get more air around this shoulder blade area, which is nice, because if, if you pull your windows down like this, you get the air on this side. Now I actually get air coming from this side. And it, it's noticeable even in the uh, even in low speeds around the subdivision, it's pretty neat. So yeah. Wow, they didn't even take long to figure that out. Would I recommend it? Most definitely, especially in a car with no AC. Especially if you wanna take your wife with you or your kids, um, you can just direct the airflow. You could probably even direct the air towards the back if you have the kids sitting there. Yeah, but pretty neat mod to have, guys worth every penny if you ask me most definitely I would buy it again oh and if you follow the build I'm pretty uh, happy to let you guys know that um, my uncle actually replaced the uh, accelerator cable on this thing which I guess was binding and that's why it was feeling a little sluggish and since he's done that it's really opened up the revs across the power band I think right now it actually feels the right way uh, a 16 valve should so that's uh, super awesome wow I could just man this this thing's awesome I can just feel it right here that's sweet yo I really recommend this vent thing I do have a question for you guys um, if you own a Mark II and you happen to have the Hapish, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Hapish, um, rear quarters that pop out, um, those are pretty cool. I know they're rare, but here's a question for you guys. Do those pop out quarter mirrors actually help with the airflow? Like in the cabin? Because I know Mark I's um, were actually lucky enough to have a quarter front windows, which they could actually reposition to let air in that um, Mark II's have been deprived of. So I was actually w wondering about those ha those rare um, quarter rear mirrors that pop out. Do those things actually help with the airflow in the cabin? Let me know if you know the answer, because I would love a, a pair of those, but I need to know they work. Otherwise, it's just like, a, there's not much need, it's more of a want, but if it was a need, then I could justify it better for this car. So anyways, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can stay tuned to this build. Um, hit the bell so you don't miss out on other videos. And as always, God bless, man. See you guys next time. Peace.